Okay, so I did go to my local community markets. They are generally um, much more, pr much higher priced um, than the Walmart, as my boys will attest as they were looking at some tea. Five bucks. <laughs> Five a gallon. Anyway, um, I did pick up a couple of of these beefsteak tomatoes to make BLT. BLTs. These were 99 cents a pound, which is a fantastic deal. This was a $2 for an 8 ounce of um, cut mushrooms, and so I'm going to put that with some garlic and some of my favorite um, yellow squash. So that will be um, kind of a side dish for that. And then we found the, oh, and we picked up some bananas. Which were <coughs> seventy nine cents a pound? No, I don't know. I don't remember either, but actually that sounds about right. You, I was late anyway, um, I'll be putting the prices here. Then we found the clearance section. Oh, and we picked up some IBC cream soda, cream which was three forty nine. So in the yes. So in the clearance section, we found a few things. We found a glass cleaner, which will work when we have houses cl to clean. And I found this alcohol wipes for 49 cents. I will keep this um, in the car for hands and stickiness. That will be great. And that's cheaper than baby wipes. Um, this is something my boys picked up that they wanted. This was 49 cents for two bars of soap. This was not my first choice, but at that price, I just went for it. So I'm just going to put these in the back. Again, we use this a lot in house cleaning and whatnot, and that is a much more affordable price than um, some of the other things. They also had two of these lotions for 49 cents each, so I picked two up. Okay, so then the meat, not only were they marked down, but they also had a coupon attached to them. So I will try to remember the right coupon with the right meat because the coupons um, end up all over the place. The guy was saying, you know, don't freak out. Um, and it was the imaginator, so he was making sure everything was going through because he caught that one of these ran up for 99 cents and not 49. So he fixed that, so I appreciated that. And then he's like, it's going to look weird on your receipt, um, but all of the all of the coupons are coming off. Before I get to those, this was $2, and these are a smoked sausage um, for barbecuing. That is what I'm trying to say. And the kids have been going over to the, kind of like having a cookout barbecue with the neighbors, so I thought that might be fun to kind of contribute to it. Okay, so then for the meats, I have this sirloin steak boneless. It was $4, and I'm pretty sure this one had a $2 off. These are Eye of Rounds. These were $6.23 with a $2 off. This one was $4.87 with a $2 off. These ones I can use for my broccoli and beef. This was a really good deal. And then this was $4 with a $1 off, I believe. Then we have ground beef. This, I believe, is all 80-20. This is uh, two pounds for $4.22 with a $2 off. So um, this was a, a fantastic deal, a dollar a pound for beef. I need to process this all today but um, or and put some in the freezer but dang what a deal this was um, two forty nine but a dollar off so one forty nine for a pound of beef three eighty I think this also had a dollar off so still about a dollar a pound and this one was two sixty five with a dollar off so one sixty five for about a pound so that was a steal of a deal had to go in and get it and now I need to put all of this away um, the other thing is there is a local um, thrift store to us it's really really packed 
um, and so I don't typically go in there, um, but I recently learned that that particular thrift store has a little um, local food pantry associated for its church members, and, and I believe its members uh, can go in there. It's, a, it's just a little tiny closet, um, but sometimes they get overflow, and this is an overflow, and then also another overflow is uh, canned goods. So um, when you make a purchase, you can pick up some canned goods. I didn't get any canned goods today. I actually sent my son in today to just pick up a loaf of bread so I could have one uh, for the kid I babysit. And the guy that uh, was there, he's like, hey, by the end of the day, this is all going in the dumpster. So if you want the box, take the box. And it's almost the end of the day, and it's almost the weekend. They're closed the weekend. So we went ahead and just took the box. And um, I'm just going to throw a lot of this into the freezer. I'm actually going to just um, make peanut butter sandwiches, pop them in the freezer, and then I can pull them out for the kid I babysit. There is some of this um, brown berry natural wheat bread with no corn syrup, no all that stuff, with soy. So if you're going to be careful with soy, it does have soy. Here's a loaf of bread. Here's some of this like rustic Italian bread. My kids love to uh, toast these when I find them. Here's um, a oat nut bread. There's actually two of those. And then this is a artisan multigrain bread. Which this one might be um, good for the... the um, BLTs. Anyway, so we have this bread as well and I'm just going to uh, put in the freezer and then we'll take out what we need. Um, okay, so my total today was $24 and 70 something cents. I'll put the exact price here. And I thought that was a fantastic deal for those meats. So I have been kind of complaining <clears throat> Yes, I have been complaining <laughs> lately that it's been really hard to find good meat deals. And um, every time I seem to find like a really, really, really fantastic, amazing meat deal, it has been at my local community market. So I'm going to just try to make sure that I, you know, pure periodically, especially as I'm getting lower on meat, kind of stop in and check it out. Um, normally I would just put all of this into the freezer and then use it as will. But I happen to know that there's a couple ladies in my church that are kind of just really pinching pennies right now, especially with the gas prices. You know, our grocery budget just isn't stretching as far. And so one of the things that I like to do when I find deals like this is I know that our family will eat it, so I will buy it all. Um, so I typically pick things up that I can share with them as well, especially, again, like it's really tight right now with finances and everything. So um, I picked it up. I will offer it to them. Um, I know one might be a little more hesitant with um, Markdown Foods, um, but if anybody wants them, then I have the ability to offer them at a really great price. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I only mentioned this. I, let me cut this in. I mentioned this not to kind of like puff, puff my heart out, if you will. Not to say, oh, look at me. Look how good I'm doing. I'm actually pointing that out because it's it's an opportunity that maybe somebody else can do. If you're in the store and you see a great deal, I mean, this is this is a fantastic deal. Meat is at least three ninety nine a pound. So if I was to go and buy meat, which honestly right now I feel like it's the same price as chicken, sometimes cheaper, um, at three ninety nine a pound, I be, I would be purchasing it. Anyway, and this was a dollar, a little over a dollar a pound. And so I can get double for still half the cost and be able to share one. So, and this is one way that, you know, a lot of times, I'm going to share, show my face. A lot of times, especially, I deal with this too, is like we want to be helpful, we want to be useful, we want to. A lot of times we want to be helpful, we want to be useful, and we think, well, I can't help, I can't make a donation to the food pantry. I barely have enough food as it is. And here's an opportunity where, again, I can reach out to the mamas in my church that I know are having a hard time as, as I am. And I can say, look, I have some meat. I got some extra meat. Does anybody need any? And maybe it's not enough for the whole week, okay? But it'll be enough for a meal or two. And we can just help each other out in that way. And um, 
it's an opportunity not wasted. So that's going to be it for this video, and I will see you in my next one. I had no plans for a grocery haul this week, um, but at $27, I, I could not afford to pass it up because this will help me much later on and save me a lot of money later on.